All right, happy Friday, um, Friday, March 20th. Um, got a fun workout plan for the day. Uh, so again, we'll go through a basic warm up today. Um, remember for next week, we're gonna start trying to incorporate some uh, resistance. So if you have some flex bands, dumbbells, kettlebells, anything you can use for resistance, we'll figure out ways to mix those in and show variations, how to do the movements uh, with some ex extra resistance other than just our body weights. Today, I'm gonna be using one piece of equipment uh, we're going to be doing some sit-ups today. I'm going to be using something called an ab mat. Uh, this one's by Rogue. Um, you can use it to help support your low back uh, as you're doing sit-ups. So if you have something like that and you want to use it, I recommend it. Uh, but if not, just uh, take your time on these sit-ups so we don't aren't arching our back and, and injuring our low back doing some sit-ups. can be a useful exercise, but also can, can cause some strain on the low back as well. So. Today's workout format that we have, um, we're gonna be doing four five minute rounds of five exercises. Um, so I'll talk about the five exercises, the rep scheme is in the notes, um, and I'll show you some modifications on these. So the first one uh, is gonna be five burpees. So a lot of us are familiar with the burpee. Uh, I'll kind of show an example of how we do it, uh, and then some modifications. So a standard burpee, is our whole body touches the ground coming back up so we're coming down take our legs back the whole body touches and jump okay so that's a traditional burpee uh ways that we can modify it one of the easier ways to do it or uh starting spots that we can do it hands to a chair or something like that kick the feet out kick the feet back up and jump okay we can do a straight arm burpee sit down we don't go all the way to the ground, come back up and up. So those are the three variations for your burpee. We're gonna be doing five of those to start the workout. Then we're gonna do 10 pike push-ups. So a pike push-up, we're working on a vertical press versus a horizontal press, like a traditional burpee, excuse me, like a traditional push-up, okay? These, again, there's 10 of them. Um, this is really the only way to do it. Um, I suppose you could do it to a chair, uh, but what a pike push-up looks like, we're in the wide stance position, head between the arms, pushing straight down, straight back up. Okay, so I suppose you could go to a chair. Here, here, if you'd like to modify that movement there. Okay, so it's kind of those 20, and it's going to be 10 on each leg, 20 single leg bridges. So for the single leg bridge, our heels are about six inches away from our butt, okay? Toes pulled off the ground on the foot that's gonna stay on the ground. Other leg up, your aiming point, heel to the ceiling, and back down, that's one rep. So you can do 10 reps on each side, okay? 20 total. I'm gonna go to 30 sit-ups. I'm gonna grab my ab mat, put that behind my low back. My shoulders touch in the back, shoulders over hips on the top. One rep, two reps. I like to bring my arms back, touch, bring them up. Okay, so we're gonna do 30 sit ups. Lastly, is 40 toe taps, kind of simulating some jump rope. So we're just switching feet, tap toe one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. So again, it's gonna be five burpees, 10 pike push ups, 20 hip raises. 30 sit-ups, 40 toe taps. You have five minutes to complete that round. Whatever time you have left is your rest time. And then we'll go for four rounds, okay? So 20 minute workout here. All right, so for our warm up, we're gonna start with 20 repetitions with a high knee run. So one, two, three, four. Good, 20 reps of a butt kick run. So pulling the heels back. Good. 20 reps, okay? Uh, we're gonna do a lateral shuffle, okay? So you'll need some space to go side to side. One, okay, we're back and forth. A few reps each time. Just use the space that you have. Okay. 
one more time, and now I'm back. All right, next I'm going to go to a karaoke. So I'm going to cross my feet over. So front side to back side. Okay, front to back. Start slow, and as you get better at it, just pick up the pace. It's called a karaoke. times. All right, next we're going to go to a skip. Fire up to one, two, three, four, five. Good. Next we're going to do some hip rotations. You can use your chair, your foam roller, something you need for balance. Okay, so do 10 on each side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. to 20 calf raises, okay? Get those heels or ankles warmed up, excuse me, do those toe taps. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Okay. Lastly, uh, 20 already also hands on the hips. Butt goes back, straight line in the spine, slight bend in the knees. Should feel a stretch through here. One, squeeze the glutes on top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, so give a minute here. Uh, hit pause, grab what you need for the workout. Again, it's going to be five repetitions of burpees, 10 pike push-ups, 20 hip raises, 10 on each side, 30 sit-ups, and 40 toe taps. You have five minutes to complete a round. Um, once that five minute hits, we're going to start another round. So the faster you finish, the more rest you get. Hoping that people finish a round in that three and a half to four minute mark, that way you get about a minute or so rest uh, in between rounds, okay? We have five minutes for these rounds. We'll get started here in just a second. All right, starting in 10 seconds. Start with those burpees.
Just wrapped up on my first round. We're coming up on the three minute mark, so I'll get about two minutes rest. I might have lost track on my sit ups, started floating off my stand here and uh, lost track. So hopefully, I got all 30 of them in. Two minutes. Keep working hard. We got right, three minutes, 20 seconds in this round. Ninety seconds. One minute left. Hopefully you're finishing up that round if you haven't finished yet. If you find that you're cutting the time frame close on the five minutes, maybe adjust the rep scheme a little bit, figure out what movement seems to be taking the longest. You can adopt the sit up to a basic crunch if you need, uh, figure out what that limiting factor is, make those adjustments coming into round two coming up in about 35 seconds. <coughs> Twenty seconds, starting round two. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Here we go, round two.
All right, creeping up on that two minutes remaining mark here on this round. I'm going to add a resistance band to my hip bridges for the next round to add a little bit more resistance on the press up. We have two minutes to go. Ninety seconds, keep pushing, keep pushing, get this round done. Take some time, grab some water. Almost at that four minute, excuse me, at that three minute mark. One minute left. Hopefully, again, you're finishing up round two here. Give yourself some breaks. We'd like to have a minimum of 30 seconds rest in between each round. So, again, make adjustments as you need. Increase reps if you need. If you're finishing with a lot of time left, figure out ways to make it more challenging by adding resistance in some of the movements. You can grab a dumbbell for your sit-ups. I'm doing some extra flex band for the hip raises. We have 30 seconds, starting round three. Fifteen seconds. Five. Here we go, round three.
visitor coming down. All right, we are sneaking up on that uh, 90 second remaining. We got 90 seconds left of the third five minute round. Keep pushing it, keep working hard, finish those rounds. close here, 60 seconds remaining. We're going to start our fourth round here coming up. That last drink here before the last round begins. We have 40 seconds to the start of the last round. Here we go, 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, last round. Finished my last round. We got two minutes left for the rest of you to finish this round. Finish strong here. Let's go.
Picking up on that one minute mark left. Done. We want to get a little extra credit work in. Finish off with some extra burpees, maybe max burpees uh, for the last 60 seconds. So if you're looking for a little extra work, let's get those burpees up and down. See how many you can get in the last 50 seconds here. Let's go. Forty-five seconds. Thirty seconds left. <coughs> Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. That is it for our four rounds, five minutes per round. Uh, catch your breath, get some water. We're going to start a little bit of a yoga sequence here to finish. Uh, we're going to do a 60 second combo of a down dog, up dog. And then we're going to finish with a little bit of cat camel and thread the needle to stretch those arms out. So uh, take a couple seconds here, catch our breath. We'll get started in just a second. So for our down dog, up down, we're going to get to one position. We're going to hold it for a couple seconds, transition into the other position. We're going to go continuous back and forth, a couple of deep breaths with each spot for 60 seconds as well. We're going to start here in three, two, one and go. One more time. All right, we're gonna be up on all fours in this quadruped position. We're gonna work a little cat camel. So I mean, we look as we look to try and push our back to the ceiling, tuck those the hips and the chin in, and then reverse it. Push your belly button to the floor, rotate the hips, push them up. Relax, we're gonna finish by throwing the needle. So we're gonna be on our knees again, hips high. We're gonna tuck one arm through, other arm over the top. So one arm fully extended, sink the hips back, slide the other arm through with your palm up. So sides, last one of the day. And that is a wrap for today. It's a wrap for the week. If you're following along daily, I'll see you on Monday. Have a great, safe weekend. Thank you.